three clear signs someone around you has monitoring spirit. Be careful of what you share. Welcome back to Emmy's Corner. I welcome everyone, both old and new subscribers back to my channel. Thank you for always supporting, may you never lack help in Jesus' name, Amen. In this episode, I'll be telling us three clear signs that someone around us is being used by monitoring spirits. The Bible says that we should not be ignorant of the devices of the devil. Psalm 37 verse 32 says the wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The devil is roaming around and looking for ways to steal, kill and destroy, and he can use anyone to monitor us. Be careful of what you share. Rachel, you know you're in your finals. As you go back to school, please make sure you read your books and attend your lectures, so you can clear all your papers. Yes, Dad. In three months' time, your daughter will be a graduate. I'm so excited. Take care of yourself and make sure you call me when you get to school. I will. Bye, Rachel. Bye, Rachel. Bye-bye, Dad and Mom. I love you. This is 8 a.m. Don't tell me you are still sleeping. I saw you and your husband talking to Rachel this morning. Has she gone back to school? Yes. I went back to bed after she left. I've been up since four trying to pack her things. I thank God for your daughter. She will be graduating soon and you can finally rest. Your three kids are all graduates. I won't be surprised if Rachel gets married as soon as she graduates. She and Donald have been besties since childhood. I heard they were dating. Is there anyone in this neighborhood that doesn't know that they're dating? As a mother, I can only advise my child and she loves Donald. They're not thinking of marriage for now. I see those two getting married. Anyways, make sure you tell me when it happens. Donald is working in a big organization and earns him dollars, who wouldn't be happy to have such a rich son-in-law? Oh goodness. You didn't tell me you were coming, Donald. Rachel, we have known each other since we were little kids. We moved from being neighbors to friends, to bestie to dating, and now I want to take it a step further. I am convinced in my heart that you are the kind of woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Please, will you do me the honor of becoming your husband? Will you marry me? Yes, if not you, who else? Thank you. I'm so excited and can't wait to share the news with family and friends. Same here. After your final exams, we'll start making marriage plans and fix our wedding date. We will inform our families first. That's right. Mum, guess what? Donald proposed to me and I said, yes. I'm very happy for you. Donald is a good man and I know he will make a good husband. Praise God. My daughter is getting married immediately after graduation. And very soon, I'll be a grandmother. Mum, please calm down. You're already talking about grandkids? Yes, of course. Soon to be mother-in-law and grandmother. Goodbye, Mum. Talk to you later. My friend, what's the good news? Tell me so that I can join in the celebration. What happened? Any good news? There's good news. Donald proposed to my daughter. Rachel is getting married. I told you. I told you. I knew it. Congratulations, my friend. Don't forget to send me an invite. You will definitely get an invite. How about we have a uniform, friends of the mother-in-law? You were such a show-off. Stone, what of the assignment I gave you? Any good news? Yes. There is. Her daughter just got engaged. Her daughter is getting married. You know what to do. We are going to stop that marriage. It cannot happen. There shouldn't be a celebration in her family. I will do as you've said. 
The first sign that someone in your life may be a monitoring spirit is when the person always wants to know everything about you. He or she wants to know every single detail about your life, what you're up to, your plans, your goals. Don't get me wrong, the person might be a thoughtful person, but how you'll identify them clearly is if you tell the person your plans, or progress or what God is about to do in your life, and after telling the person, the thing falls apart. The spirit attached to the person doesn't want you to succeed or prosper, so they stop that good thing from happening in your life. Such a person will be so inquisitive and will always ask questions to know if you're making progress. Please, be careful around these kind of people, don't share everything about your life with them. Allow your good news and blessings to mature before you tell people. I want our wedding day to be the most beautiful day ever. I want to make Rachel happy on that day. Please mom, if the money I have given you for the preparation is not enough, please let me know, so that I can add some more. I don't want Rachel to be stressed at all. I have heard you. I'll put everything in place. I think you have a visitor. I'll be leaving now. Okay Donald. Take care. Look at who we have here. Our soon-to-be son-in-law. I see, you came to visit your mother-in-law. I heard you've engaged our sweet Rachel. Congratulations on your engagement. Thank you Ma. I hope you'll attend our wedding ceremony. Of course. My friend, my friend. I see your beloved son-in-law came around. Has the date been fixed for the wedding? How much did he give you for the preparations? It's a secret. Stop asking so many questions. I knew it. So because your daughter is getting married, you're suddenly hiding things from me? I was joking. How can I hide things from my friend? He gave me money to start the wedding preparations. You know Rachel is through with school and she will be back by next week. They want to hold the wedding as soon as possible. And you know what? Donald said his company is relocating him abroad to work there since it's newly established. He will like to be married before then, so they can travel together. What a good news. I am so happy for you. All your children are doing well and now, your daughter will be living abroad. Very soon, you'll be visiting them abroad and your level will change. Just look at Donald, he's so handsome and responsible. I hope so. When my daughter gives birth later, I'll travel to see and take care of her. Another country's air will touch me and by the time I am back, you may not recognize me. Speak it my friend. I am so excited for you. Make sure you don't forget me later. I won't. So, Rachel will be living abroad with her husband. This is how Rose's life will change for good. Her daughter is getting married into a wealthy and responsible family. Why do good things happen to Rosa? That's why she can't shut up her mouth. He gave me money to start the wedding preparations. He wants to get married as soon as possible. He's going abroad. My daughter will be living there with him. Ah! Is it only you that is blessed in this neighborhood? I am so jealous and can't stand her. We shall see. What are you doing about your friend, Rosa? You've been monitoring her and yet, things are going so well for her. I will strike when they least expected. Rosa told me that her daughter will be back today. I plan to give her an engagement gift. I've already gotten the gift and it's been charmed. As soon as she wears it, there'll be a change in her relationship. She'll become another person to Donald. We will use her face to torment him in the dream. Ha 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 ha. That's a good plan. Make sure you do everything in your power to scatter their joy. Go and do it. Yes, Queen Mother. Thank you Jesus. I am now a graduate. Thank you for seeing me through, I'm so grateful. Congratulations my darling daughter. You've made us so proud. Thank you mum. God is good. He has done great things for us. Rosa, 
What's happening? Why are you singing and shouting? Open the door for me. Is Rachel back? I have a graduation gift for her. Good day, Ma. Welcome back. Congratulations on your graduation and engagement. Thank you. This is for you. Make sure you always wear this. A necklace? Thank you so much, Ma. It's your graduation gift. I'm happy that you like. The second sign is when someone gives you a gift, and things suddenly turn upside down in your life. You receive a present from this person and keeps it at home, then immediately, your dream life changes, you're attacked in the dream, your business, your marriage, job, everything becomes scattered and your life is in chaos. You may not be observant, but the Holy Spirit speaks to you or tells you that the gift you received is not a good one, or that the gift is evil. It could be money or something valuable. This is a sign that someone may be using that gift to monitor your life or business. Another example, is maybe there's this particular person who always gives you a gift when there is good news in your life, and whenever you receive that gift everything falls apart. It may be a sign that monitoring spirit may be using that person's gift to monitor you. A sister gave a testimony in church about how her uncle gave her a clock on her wedding day. She used the clock but she didn't know that they were using it to monitor her marriage. After her wedding, she started having so many health issues and her husband was tired and frustrated. They spent so much on her treatment and she was unhappy. One day, during church service, the pastor mentioned her case and prayed for her. When she went home, the clock was shattered on the ground. Her uncle called her and asked why she broke the clock, he was so angry. This was when she realized that the clock wasn't just an ordinary gift but was being used as a monitoring device. Please, let's always pray over any gifts we receive before we use it and be sensitive in the Spirit. If the Holy Spirit is telling you not to use the gift, please obey and dispose it. Why is this person following me, and I can't see the face? The person has been watching and following me. She's coming. I need to run faster. Bad dream. Bad dream. Who is this person chasing and following me in the dream? How are you? I'm fine on you. Fine, but I've been having some strange dreams lately. Anyways, let's talk about something else. Are you ready to see your wedding dress? Yes. You don't look so excited. Are you sick? You talked about having some strange dreams lately. Can you tell me? Because I've also been having strange dreams. Some strange people always attack me in the dream. Sometimes they're chasing me and sometimes we're fighting each other. Last night, I fought with the person and he was covering his face with a mask. I overpowered him and when I removed the mask, it was your face. I woke up and prayed about it, then the Holy Spirit told me it was a familiar spirit that's using your face. They want to cause enmity between us and scatter our relationship. I'm planning to fast and pray about it from tomorrow, you should also pray because I think you are weak in the spirit, and that's why they could use your face. That's true. I've also been having strange dreams too. I see myself being followed and jaced in the dream. Sometimes I'm caught and put in the prison. That's not a good dream. It's a sign that someone around is monitoring you. You're being watched and followed by monitoring spirits. You must put a stop to it because they're hindering spirits. They cause repeated patterns of near success syndrome. They make sure there's a negative event or failure at the edge of your breakthrough. That's true. By the way, where did you get this necklace from? There's just something about it. The Holy Spirit keeps drawing my attention to it. It's a gift from my mum's friend, Auntie Paula. She told me not to take it off. Why? I think you should stop wearing it or if you want to, don't wear it always. I even think that it might be the necklace. I noticed I started having attack in my dream since I started wearing it. What are you waiting for? Please take it off. The third sign that someone around you is monitoring you is when you're having evil dreams. 
When you have repeated attacks in your dream, you see yourself being followed or chased, you see yourself being caught and put in prison. You see yourself being followed randomly by animals such as cats, dogs, spiders, some birds like owl and bats, wild gecko, lizard. These are wonderful animals created by God. It's just that in the spiritual realm, they can use these animals to fulfill their mission, just as the devil used the serpent to deceive Eve at the Garden of Eden, the donkey that spoke to Balaam in Numbers 22-28. God opened the donkey's mouth to speak. Mum, our wedding card is out. I told Donald that you must be the first person to see this. It's so nice. This is real. My daughter is going to be a beautiful bride. Yes, Mum. And we're going on the honeymoon immediately after the wedding. Which country are you going for the honeymoon? Auntie Paula, you're here? Good day. We've not yet decided on the country. I see. I am not happy with you. I gave you a gift but you've refused to use it. Where is the necklace? At home. It's not at home and you know it. Next time, tell me that you don't need my gift rather than throwing it away. It's not nice. Rachel, what happened with Paula? She wasn't happy at all. Mum, I think the question should be how is she so sure that I threw the necklace away? I think you should be careful with that your friend. Please, don't be telling her things about me. Don't share anything that concerns me with her. She is invited for the wedding, that's all. She shouldn't know more than that. Calm down, I don't think she's bad. You shouldn't have thrown her gift away, she must have felt bad. It can't be the necklace that's getting her so angry. It must be something else. Anyways, Mum please be careful with her. Don't share any information about me or my wedding with her. Don't tell her what I am up to unless you want me to stop telling you things. Noted. Rachel and Donald wedded one month later, Auntie Paula was frustrated because Rosa stopped telling her things. Remember that if you don't share your secrets or information, monitoring spirits won't have what to work with. Always pray and cover yourself with the blood of Jesus Christ and the blood shall speak for you and defend you in Jesus' name. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, share it, comment, turn on the notification bell and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and God bless you.